If you follow any YouTube channel, you may have heard something like this. Introduce the text and you will get a Y% discount. The text is usually the name of the YouTuber. You must be thinking what is this and why so. Companies use YouTubers to promote their products. And why they force you to introduce their name to get the discount is because this way they can evaluate which YouTuber is more effective. Actually, companies just have to compare how much they had to pay to the YouTuber and how much profit they'll get. This way, they can calculate their return on investment very easily. Okay. Degmar refers to defining advertising goals for measured advertising results. It is a marketing model used to establish clear objectives for an advertising campaign and measure its success. So what we do in Degmar is to set objectives for an advertisement and measure its success. The core of that we can measure the success of any advertising campaign and that to in numbers. Okay. The Dagmar model was introduced by Russell Colley in 1961 and was expanded upon in 1955 by Solomon. Hello everyone. I am Dr. Vijay. Today we'll discuss about Dagmar method or approach. After taking this lecture, you should be able to describe the steps in Dagmar model define the goals of Dagmar model, implement the effective advertisement campaign using Dagmar and you will also be able to do evaluation of the campaign success against a preset benchmark. Okay. Now please give a close attention throughout the video. You will have lots of learning. Let's understand Dagmar approach. It is a marketing strategy that guides the consumer through four phases. That's awareness, comprehension, conviction, and action. The path is also referred as ACCA formula. The four steps of the campaign are awareness. In this, the client discovers the product. Before this stage, the client did not know about this product existence. At this level, by our advertisement and by other means, we introduce our product to the consumers. Then we have comprehension. In this stage, the customer understands the product. When we say understand, we are referring to the properties, price, main characteristics, etc. of the product or services. Okay. Then we have conviction. Here, uh, and the customer is convinced by the product or we can say the product's characteristic meet all the desired requirements which a consumer was searching. And in the last stage, that's action, the customer buys the product. But in worst case scenario, the customer or consumer approaches it but does not buy it. Okay, so we need to track the consumer till end even after successful trailing from three stages. There is a possibility that the sales do not happen. Hope you got the idea. To understand it better way, we need to learn about the goals of Dagmar model. It has two goals. The first is to develop a communication task. Okay, that accomplishes these four steps. Please understand in first goal, we develop some communication that could be in the form of text or videos or personal interaction, etc. That will help consumer to sail through these four steps and take him to the decision of buying the product. Okay. The second goal is to make sure that the success in the form of increased sales or revenues, etc. can be measured against a baseline. Okay. So what we are doing is we are also measuring our advertisement as if they are working as per our expectations or not. Okay. Now, in order to measure the success of a marketing tool or an advertisement, the Dagmar method requires marketers to establish a benchmark in order to measure the success of a campaign. 
the benchmark also attempts to set a reasonable deadline for judging the success or failure of a new product's introduction. Let's see certain examples so that we can better understand what this model is looking for. Okay. We'll be discussing about two examples. One is about sponsoring a celebrity and other is of Google Ads. Sponsoring a celebrity can be an effective way of advertising your products in a traceable way. Companies pay celebrities to share pictures while wearing or using their products on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter, etc. Now the question raised is how to measure the effectiveness of this kind of advertisement campaign. It is very easy to measure. You can observe how many likes these pictures have, how many times these pictures have been shared, what are the comments on these pictures, etc. And most important thing is how much their sales increased in these particular products. If designed correctly, this strategy allows you to set defined and measurable goals. Okay. Similarly, you must have uh, observed that Baiju's, Whitehead Junior, QMath and many more are using Celebrity to establish themselves. Now let's talk about Google Ads. Google Ads is the epitome of uh, Dagmar model. Imagine you own a small e-commerce business. If you start an advertising campaign with Google Ads, you can easily know that how many people saw your ad how much your sales increased, how many people clicked on each ad, which countries were most interested in your products, etc. And most important is your return on investment, how much you earned from what you invested. This tool allows you to easily measure your goals and assess how your marketing campaigns are doing. For example, your Dagmar goal could be increase sales by 10% or your Dagmar goal could be to have a return on investment in the ratio of 3 to 1 where you wish to earn 3 times more than what you invested or your Dagmar goal could be to receive 15% more impressions of your products etc. All of them could be measured and analyzed with numbers. Okay. Hope you understand that in Dagmar, when we can easily measure the effectiveness of our different advertisement campaign used by one or other business houses and that too in numbers. Hope you are clear with the Dagmar model and enjoyed the lecture. Thanks for watching. Feel free to drop your feedback or write for more videos. Thank you.